Welcome back to Mornings with Morningside. Today we're following up on the Nissan negotiation story as our international correspondent Rhonda Burgundy jets over to France to sit down with Louis Schweitzer, the chairman of Renault, to get his side of the story. Bonjour, Rhonda! Bonjour! I'm Rhonda Burgundy, reporting live from Gay Paris, where I had the opportunity to sit down with Monsieur Florence over at her cafe and discuss the rest of the Nissan Alliance. Ça ah. Va? ah oui, ça va bien. Merci, merci. Ah, un garçon, un café, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, oh, no. No? Okay. Uh, I think we're taking the time. Bonsoir. Merci, merci. Ah, merci, merci. It is not necessary for you to speak French. Uh, we can do the interview in English, it's fine. Okay, perfect. So I'd like to get your feedback on how you felt about the outcome between Renault and Nissan during the alliance. Yes, uh, I think the outcome was magnifique. Uh, both companies got what they wanted. Uh, we can keep Renault a French company. The Japanese get to keep Nissan a Japanese company. Uh, it's very much a mutually beneficial deal and uh, Nissan should be very happy. Uh, who would not want to do business with France? Absolutely. So can you tell me about your sentiment throughout the negotiation process? Uh, Renault was very confident going into the negotiations, although uh, we knew that Daimler Chrysler had already made a presentation, uh, we came in with uh, absolute uh, best offer that we could have. And with the support of the uh, French government, we were able to offer an interest rate that uh, Nissan simply could not refuse. So, uh, although we were not getting very much feedback from Nissan throughout the negotiation, Renault was very confident in the outcome. and. Uh, you know, uh, once we got a letter of intent, as you call it, uh, we were quite confident that uh, the deal was going to tip in Renault's favor. Well, great. Congratulations on your success. Merci. 